Hello everybody and welcome to Pear Blossom Designs, the second video uh, in our series of videos. And I'm Debbie Manashella here in the Pear Blossom Design Studio. And today we're going to talk about gelatos. Now I've been talking about these on my blog. And if you've been following the blog, then you uh, probably will get a little bit of the same information, but hopefully there'll be a little bit of different information too for you. So uh, let's proceed, shall we? This is the Pear Blossom Design jar of gelatos. As you can see, I love gelatos, and I have quite a few of them. Uh, I've acquired these over the years. Uh, I didn't just go and buy, you know, like a million of these. So uh, I've acquired them, stored them in this jar. It's easy to see, easy to have them all in one place, so that when you do want them, they're easy to grab. So what we're going to talk about is... And I'll show you the gelatos come in two different sizes. Now you've got your, what they call the double scoops. This is a large one. This is the normal size one. So you do have an option. If you have a large piece that you're working on, the double scoops is probably the way you want to go. Uh, they do come, I think, in basically the primary colors, the colors that are used a lot. Uh, no, I don't think they come in all the colors. Maybe they do now, but back when I ordered them, they didn't. So, you know, if you check it out, you can you can find out, you know, what colors they come in in the larger sizes. The smaller size, as you can see, both the large and the small, these are like little lipstick tubes or chapsticks. Uh, they, uh, they just go up and down. They twist up and down. Uh, you cap them and storm. That's all you got to do. They don't require any type of special care. Uh, they don't dry out. Uh, my understanding is that they're they're called pigment sticks. So um, I'm not sure what all that involves, you know, what kind of materials they're consisting of, but I will tell you that they're very easy to clean up with uh, just soap and water. So they're easy to store, easy to keep, easy to clean up, and you can use them on any porous surface. That means paper, uh, canvas. I've even seen this uh, in a demonstration uh, on wood. So uh, <laughs> the it's it's limitless as far as I'm concerned, as far as what you can use them uh, on. A lot of fun. Now, what I love about the gelatos is that you can add water to them. And they actually will give you a wonderful kind of a watercolor appearance on your fabric, which is a nice change from your Shiva paint sticks and from your uh, acrylic fabric paints uh, when you want a softer tone to your work. Now, I did a little swatch here. I'm big into swatches, and I'll show you some more here in just a minute. But this one here I did. I'm going to try to bring this up so you can kind of see. Um, uh, it's not really uh, the age of technology. It's great if you know how to use it. Let's see if I can get it over here on this sign. Get it close in. There you go. There you go. That's good. Uh, because that orange is a very vibrant, almost a fluorescent orange. That very light blue in the middle um, is a very soft blue. And then the gold on the end. Um, you can see the difference between the top three and the bottom three. The top three I used water with. So it gave it a much softer appearance. The three on the bottom were straight from the tube. And you can see it's a darker color. A little bit rougher. Of course, it's on Ada cloth, so anything you put on Ada cloth uh, is going to have more of a, a little rougher texture. The thing is with gelatos, you can bear down on them and you can get a thicker coat on there so that you don't see the material in the background, which is nice. So, uh, either way, uh, but I did want to show you that it does have a much softer appearance when you do add the water, which makes it a nice change. Now, what I've done is I'm going to show you 
something that I highly recommend if you're going to be using fabric paints. This is, I call them my palette samplers because I just get the cheapest Ada cloth I can find. That's a 14 count because that's what I use is 14. Um, and, I, and I just put my paints on them uh, so that I have an idea what they're going to look like on my actual Ada cloth. These are invaluable. You can set these up any way you want. I use these large pieces of fabric because, number one, I like to put as much on them as I can, uh, especially like with my acrylic paints. These are, I've done these with my acrylics. I haven't really uh, done a Sheba paint stick uh, sampler yet, uh, palette sampler, but you know, that's coming up in the future, you know, I'm sure right now. I just really haven't had time to do that. But I have done it with my uh, Jacquard Lumieres. And as you can see, or as you may not be able to see, I hope you can see, you know, what, a, what beautiful colors these are. And you really don't get an idea of how they look on fabric unless you actually put them on the fabric. Uh, I've done them with my Lumieres. Love that. You know, such pretty pearlescent colors. They're just so gorgeous. And here's the Stuart Gills, of course, very shiny, sparkly Stuart Gill paints. They're gorgeous too. And then here are the gelatos. So yes, I did do a gelato one. Now, Covered that up pretty good. Uh, this, I didn't bear down a lot on these. Uh, I was just more or less using them like a crayon. I was just kind of coloring on there. I've got all the names on them. Um, I'm not sure did if, I, if I didn't know. I didn't put that on here. But something to keep in mind is you may want to put down how long it takes for these to dry because when you put them on thick it does take longer for them to dry uh, you're looking at you know at least several days you know I guess with some of the colors maybe a week you know it just depends on how thick you put them on there now something that I wanted to draw your attention to very quickly here here's some of the Shiva paint sticks for my next project Ooh, my little sampler for that very excited about those. I love those colors. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so here is the what I wanted to show you. I'm going to try to get this close. I know this makes the, the screen darker and lighter. I don't know how to, how to uh, not do that, but I'm learning. Okay, so bear with me. So here we go. Here is the two. I don't know why that looks so yellow. There we go. That's better right there. Okay, these are Shiva paint sticks. Now, as you can see right here, let's see if I can get this better. There we go. The lines on this are very crisp. Uh, it's a very nice, tidy square. This one, not so much because I used the Shiva paint stick straight onto the fabric. This one, I used artist tape. And the difference, as you can see, is pretty profound. Now I'm going to talk about artist tape next. I got those kind of crinkled up. That's okay. I'll get that straightened out later. Artist tape. But before I get to artist tape, I want to show you my other gelato sampler. Here's the other palette sampler. Now this one is still in a frame and I when I apply my uh, any kind of paint to uh, a sampler like this, a palette sampler, I put it in a frame because it's easier to write on and it's easier to get the paint on too because uh, it's nice and taut. Now, I, gelatos are great because Faber-Castell is always adding new colors to the line. And I know that they've got some new ones that are out. I haven't purchased those yet. But this here is going to be the space for any kind of new colors that come out. When it's filled up, then I'll take it out and I'll, I'll add it with my other uh, palette samples. So 
there you go with that. And as you can see, now I applied this very thickly, and you can tell that you don't have the background fabric bleed through because it is on there thicker. Uh, so just depends on how you put it on. And I'm going to show you the, fat, the uh, artist tape that I use to get those nice crisp lines when I need to. Now, before we even get started with this, I want you to know that uh, you do have to play with this on your fabric. Don't just assume that you can get this and put it on your fabric and everything's going to look lovely. It, it may not turn out that way. What you have to do is get a scrap piece of fabric, the same kind you're working with, and then put your tape down and then put your paint on and see how they act with each other. That way when you put it on your project after you've been working on it for months and months and you don't want to destroy it, uh, you will know how to use it on there without ruining it. Uh, and nobody wants to live with that kind of frustration or aggravation of working so hard on something and then have it just a mess on your hands, you know, because you didn't take the time to work with it on a scrap piece, you know, to get a feel for it and really know what you were doing with it. Okay, that being said, here's the fabric tape. And this is the fabric tape I use. It's Utrecht fabric tape. Uh, I mean, artist tape. And I like this. It, it comes a nice big roll, lasts a long time, easy to apply, easy to get on and off the fabric. Um, I, of course, there probably are others out on the market. I don't know about those because this is what I use. So, and you can get this online. So, that's the artist tape part of it. If you want nice crisp lines, uh, if you're doing geomet geometric shapes, you don't want one color to bleed into to another, use your artist tape on your fabric. And, and that really does help a lot in all these instances. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about is Ladybug Lake. Oh, yes. There should be the... Mormon Tabernacle Choir singing in the background uh, because uh, the water is finished on this. And I'm, I'm so proud of the progress so far. Now, I've been working on the, uh, the water here. You can see I've got my little... Sparkly, can you see that? I get caught up in the moment, so I, you have to excuse me when I when I pause because I just I, I just get to looking at it and it gets to be fascinating. I guess shiny things, you know, especially at my age. So anyway, so I've got my blending filament that I'm going to finish on here, and uh, once I get that done, then I will put the stems on the leaves. I've got this little guy here that I'm going to have to fill in with some color. I haven't decided on that yet. And then the glass beads will go on, and it'll be ready for framing. And I'm very excited about the progress on this and how it's going to look when it's done. The anticipation is killing me. You know, it's like you've seen it in your head all this time, you know, but then actually seeing it done, you know, is 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 the crowning, is the zenith, you know, of the whole project. So uh, Ladybug Lake is, is well on its way, too. Now I've talked about, uh, I've talked about uh, on my blog about the silks that I've been waiting on. I've been going back and forth with the uh, store that I have purchased those from uh, about receiving them, and there's been a lot of delays, you know. And of course, you know these things happen. It's aggravating, but you know what can you do? You know they happen. Uh, the store was very nice. They've communicated with me every time I've asked a question of them. So. Um, there's, there's really nothing I can do. It gets frustrating waiting for so long because you're just not sure what's going on, you know, when it's going to arrive, you know, because there's delay after delay after delay. But I did get in touch with them this last week and was told that um, they have shipped them. So I should be getting them, uh, if not uh, tomorrow or Saturday, then hopefully uh, next week, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm very excited about getting those and kind of getting that next project going. And I couldn't do that until I had those silks. So, woo, 
progress is being made. Now, the other thing with the project that's coming up is I was having lunch with my daughter and she was telling me that um, when I explained this next project um, that um, I guess the term Oriental is not really politically correct. And I was glad that she pointed that out to me because I had no idea um, that it the preferred nomenclature is um, Asian. So uh, right now, I guess for the time being, uh, I'll refer to that as Asian expressions. Um, I, I, I'm not real happy, you know, I don't think with that name. It, it just doesn't have the vibe to it. Uh, so I'm going to work on, you know, maybe a different title for it. I certainly don't want to offend anybody. And that's an easy enough fix for me. You know, it's not a big deal. So there will probably be a new name for that one coming up. Um, and I am excited about that one. And I showed you the colors, you know, that are going to be on there. Just going to be gorgeous. So, um, Anyway, I guess that's kind of it for now. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention that you could do uh, with your uh, gelatos is you can uh, put those in a little spritzer. Um, I hope I'm not repeating myself, but it is late and uh, I, I may, so just forgive me if I am. But you can put in a little, uh, uh, cut a little chunk off, put it in a little mister spritzer, and you can put that on your fabric, just mist it on your fabric for a whole different effect, uh, which is great, you know, and, and easy to do with these. Um, and then lastly, uh, I want to mention, um, you know, the, how our thoughts and prayers are with all of the families, uh, the volunteers, and um, all of the uh, people from the government that are helping all of those that have been in the affected areas down in Texas from uh, Hurricane Harvey. It is absolutely heartbreaking and, and just gut-wrenching to see all of the people that have been uh, displaced from their homes uh, and have had to uh, shelter, you know, in these places. Uh, many of these people, the elderly that have come from nursing homes, uh, to me, that is just so traumatic, you know, and um, and our thoughts and prayers are definitely with them during this difficult time. And certainly we hope that, um, that all of the help that is being given is going to help them get through this terrible time. Uh, and like I said, our thoughts and prayers are with them. So I guess with that, uh, I'm going to wrap up this video session. I hope that you found something interesting, uh, maybe something new to work with. Um, I think that maybe in the future I will do kind of a uh, background uh, video, uh, meaning that it will be about the backgrounds on your fabric, whether it be paint, whether it be gelatos, whether it be gelatos and a mister. I think that might work out to be something pretty interesting. So we'll put that on the table, you know, sometime for a future video. In the meantime, uh, everybody take care. I hope you have a great evening and I'm glad you joined us on this video and that you will join us again soon. Thank you so much and bye-bye.